Hey you guys, it's your girl Earth Mother. Welcome back to my channel. Tonight we're gonna be doing a little bit of judging of the 2023 Met Gala this year. Start off with Gigi Hadid. So I'm looking at this dress and I don't know what it is. Like I saw a lot of people like gagging over this and I was not moved. I don't know what it is about this dress. I just don't like it. Like I feel like she's trying really hard. And the theme this year was Karl Lagerfeld. So I get what it was trying to give. Like in a lot of these pictures, I get what it was trying to give, but I don't like the mesh. I don't like the cross the shoulder mesh and I don't like the train of mesh. I just don't like it. I feel like it looks tacky and I don't know why, but I feel like if Paris Hilton wore this, I would have liked it better. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Okay. Kendall Jenner. So I see a lot of people saying that like Kendall Jenner has a talent and absolutely never serving. And I would have to agree. She literally gives us nothing every time. And I know I am in a an old beanie surfer like sweater type thing. And I understand that. And I'm definitely judging people from my bed every time with crumbs on my chest and in a raggedy shirt. Like every time I'm gonna do that. They're there and I'm here from my bed and I am judging. But I'm 100% aware of that. I hate this outfit. <laughs> Needless to say, I hate this outfit. From the boobs up, like it's cute, like the collar. But what were the boots? Like, is it Gaga circa 2008? I just hate it. I hate it. It's not cute. I hate it. Okay, next to her sister Kim. I actually really like this outfit. I don't know. Like, I saw a lot of people shitting on it. And maybe it is because I'm just mesmerized by her waist. Like, mind you, I don't like the Kardashians. I don't like the Kardashians. But it's something about the waist and the where where the the pearls come at the hip. i don't know like i kind of really like this somebody was like oh like it's giving puka shell no like i think this is cute i don't necessarily love the ensemble that she has with it i don't really love that that has the train i don't really love that makeup the pink i like the pink uh i like the very pink blush but I don't love the lip. She's looking a little casket ready. She's looking a tad bit casket ready. But other than that, I think she looks really good. Okay, let's go. Oh my god. Oh, did somebody say mother? Did somebody say mother? Somebody said mothering. It's so funny. Right before I got on here, I was scrolling on Twitter and I saw you guys, people... I saw like people trolling the US Army because I guess they like, I don't know, the military tweeted it was like, how do like how did serving impact you? And it was like, I don't know, ask her. And it had this picture. You guys, Anne Hathaway, that's a woman. That's a woman. No, she looks so good. Like, I love the tweed. I love the tweed because you know with Carl Lagerfeld and Chanel, tweed was like very much, very much a part of that shit. So I love the tweed. I love the um safety pins like the big gold safety pins i just love everything about this look the hair one thing about me i'm from texas i love big hair big hair i don't care if it's curly i don't care if it's straight i love a good blowout i loved and i thought she looked absolutely amazing the shoes looked amazing everything about this look she was one of my favorite looks of the night period oh my god okay doja <laughs> okay so i was highly confused whenever i first because okay so everybody kept showing like somebody being carried out in a bag or something being carried out in a bag and at first i thought that was doja and then i saw everybody with the umbrellas and her flicking off the paparazzi and then i realized oh that's doja um i really like doja cat's outfit sorry i have to spray it in my cat um because he wants to be in the video so bad but Everybody like has mixed emotions on this. I feel like it's just Doja. Like I feel like it makes so much sense. I like it. I love the prosthetics. I don't care what anybody says. I think it's cute. I don't think it's too on the nose. I think it's adorable. Like she's the cat and I love that she went to show pet. I don't think that Carl Lagerfeld would have hated it. I think he would have loved it. I think it's a little campy. This is how she comes to events. She always comes to be the event. Like she's going to be an attraction. She's going to try to be the event. Um, and I feel like she really did that in this. And I feel like everybody else that tried to be a cat, like we'll get on Lil Nas and Jared Leto later on. But like, I feel like Doja killed this and I feel like her goal was accomplished. Okay, Lil Nas X. I hated it. I'm sorry, <laughs> I hated it. Like, I'm sorry, I'm not trying to be a hater. And he has a beautiful body, he does. 
but I don't like love it. And I feel like if I say what I want to say, I would be looked at as being nasty. <laughs> I'm not trying to be nasty, but it's like, for somebody with such a creative mind, why are you being lazy? That's what it felt like. It felt lazy. Like it felt like last minute. It felt like, let's just give the girl a cute, like one, two, something to talk about. And it just felt lazy. Like I don't, I didn't move. Like I wasn't moved by it. I don't think anybody really was. Like he thought he was gagging everybody. And this is another thing. I hate the E! News panel judges or like whatever you want to call them because they're all liars. They all like, like, oh my God that's just so cute like they love everything like no bring joan rivers back to tell the truth because joan would have been dragging some of them and that's what we need I'm not saying being a bully but you know just get get the girls together a little bit just get them together like that's what they're getting paid to do and they're not doing it i did not like this i felt like it was lazy it just is what it is okay kylie jenner um hated it <laughs> absolutely hated it i don't really understand how this was on theme unless the theme was like pretty little things or fashion nova or like people were like making a joke about i spy saying like she and hamu but like no like she's in hamu like trying to give gay show with like the rap but then it wasn't like i don't know what this was supposed to be i feel like she got confused on the event that she was going to they missed the plot like i feel like a lot of the girls missed the plot like think Carl Lagerfeld, think Chanel, think Tweed, think, and they're saying, oh, he hates pink. Think pink, something, something, pearls, like something. Some of the, some of these people, you guys aren't even worth mentioning. Like I'm looking at, at Giselle Bunchen and I like feel bad because like I understand like, you know, like she's referencing herself. Um, but like, no, like I don't. <laughs> Like, she looks happy. She left Tom. Like, she looks ecstatic. But it's just not. It's not. It wasn't giving. Like, also, Nicole Kidman, like, also referenced herself. Which, somebody said, I'm going to start saying that whenever I wear outfits twice. I'm going to start saying that, like, I'm referencing myself from two weeks ago. But, like, I just, I don't know. Like, something about the older women referencing themselves. Like, if it was Naomi, it would have been different. But because it's, like, Nicole Kidman and Giselle Bunchen, I just, I was not... I wasn't moved by it. I don't know. Uh, Margot Robbie, because you are supposed to be our Barbie, and it's about to be hashtag not my Barbie, you are Barbie. Why would you not play into that? Like, the girls don't want to do rollouts. They don't want to do eras. They don't want to do any of it. Like, why, why, why this? Whenever you literally have a film coming out, and you could be capitalizing on this moment, and you wear this? jc penny cole's prom gown i hate it i hate it now she looks beautiful like don't get me wrong from here up stunning stunning here down i hate you like i hate you i hate you okay so this one i feel like is one of my unpopular opinions i didn't like love it <laughs> like i didn't love it i saw everybody on online like gagging and like raving over it i mean dua looks good like don't get me wrong dua looks beautiful i might have liked it more with an updo but it was kind of giving like hillary duff cinderella story i just didn't like it i feel like claudia schiffer did it better back in the day i feel like she did it better she had i think she had a hat and she had like a cape type situation going on i say this nicely it looks like <laughs> it looks like the girl from the smoke shop up the street from me got invited to prom it looks like never been kissed it looks like not another teen movie i love the necklace and i love that she actually wore a necklace because a lot of the girls were not wearing necklaces and it actually looks beautiful she looks good like it's not a bad look i like it but i just don't i think the hair i think literally i think with a different hairstyle it would have brought a lot of it together jenna ortega jenna ortega <laughs> Jenna Ortega, like, Margot, this is what we're talking about. Like, she's staying in character. I love, this was one of my favorite looks. This is so cute. First of all, she's this big. <laughs> she's this big. I feel like this is so cute and fitting for her. Like, the hair, everything about this look is good. The shoes, the hair, the train, everything. The corset, the tie, 
this is cute as like this is giving Wednesday Adams. Like I know that she's a whole entire person outside of that character, but this is what I'm talking about. Like this is good. Her stylist did good. The the tights, I love it. I love this look. I love this look. I think it's perfect for a short girl. I hate whenever the short girls wear long gowns. But I feel like with the like duality of the shortness in the front and the long in the back, I just feel like it works. It worked really well. Cardi. Okay, so let me say this about Cardi. The first, this one is good. The first outfit that she had, the pink, I was begging her to not come out on the carpet with that. I was like, oh, please tell me she's changing. I hated it. I hated the pink look. I don't know. I feel like it's, we've seen her do it before. I didn't like the little headpiece. I didn't like the big pink. And the, like, I feel like it looked like very like Las Vegas showgirl. And we've seen her do that before. And it just wasn't the time or place. This was good. The gloves, the hair. First of all, I was like, wait, the whole wig change. The whole wig installation changed. Like she went from being like Auburn, like red slick back bun to big hair, ash blonde, gray. Like, I love it. I love it. I think it looked so good. I think she looked beautiful. She looked stunning. Her makeup looks fantastic. Um, the gloves, the black and white dress with the, with the tie. I think it's super cute. Her third look was even cute. Like the pink tweed, uh, dress all the way to the floor. Super, super cute. And then I think she had another look. She had like a fourth look with Karl Lagerfeld's like newspaper printing, like splash up. Absolutely stunning. She, her and her team know what to do every single time and they do it every single time. And I'm kind of saying that she, I'm not saying it, but I'm saying, I feel like she was slightly coming for rihanna's spot slightly slightly i always kills met gal you know that she kills everything but i felt like cardi was slightly coming for her spot a little bit a li okay so let's talk about rihanna and asap ferg okay so number one they pissed me off i was watching the red carpet live and they never came out even though everybody was waiting they pissed me off number one re looks great i actually really like the dress, I like when she's fully covered. I didn't love it so much when she took it off. Um, I saw somebody say, whoever did Rihanna's hair again, don't ever do it again. I agree. I agree. Like, I felt like it was, I don't know if she had got into it with somebody before that game. I don't know what was going on. If they were having a nice little dinner before, because I know they didn't go to the party afterwards or maybe they did. I don't know what was going on, but I just feel like for y'all to have taken that long and then to, for ASAP to look the way he did, I just I feel like I've seen him do this before. And like ASAP Rocky is like a fashion guy. Like he is one of the fashion guys, which makes so much sense for them to be together. But like, I don't love this fit. I felt like he's worn this before. I've seen him in this before. That's how I feel. Rihanna... I think she looked great. I love the outfit. I understand the flowers, the Chanel flowers. I definitely get it. Um, I think we were all just thinking for something different. I don't know what we were looking for. I don't know what we were thinking. I don't know what we were looking for. I just think we thought it was going to be different, but I still think that it had the impact that she intended on. Um, she looks gorgeous, beautiful. Um, I like the glasses with like the little eyelashes and stuff. Like I get it, but like I wasn't like how I usually am. I don't know. I don't know. Tim's was one of my favorite looks of the night. I love her, first of all. I think she's beautiful and gorgeous. Anytime she goes to anything, like she is the moment. Like she's always the talk of the town whenever she goes somewhere. I think she looks beautiful. I love the headpiece. And the, the black, like the little springs of, oh, I just love it. Off the gloves. No, she looks so good. She looks like walking art. She looks exactly like what she needed to look like. The corset with the, like I saw like the drawing of this and how it was supposed to look. And I think there were supposed to be like little buttons down the front. No, she looks fan-fucking-tastic. Absolutely gorgeous. I think the shoes could have been different and maybe the dress could have been tailored a little bit more down. But other than that, I think she looks she looks great. This is one of my favorite looks of the night. Oh, oh, you guys. Okay, so congratulations to them. Like 100% Serena Williams and her husband, Alexis Ohanian. Um, congratulations to them. Definitely. I want her to fire her stylist and makeup artist indefinitely. I need her to find new size. You guys, she always looks a mess like i'm sorry i hate it i hate it so much because i love her and i think that she is beautiful but 
no no she always looked like it's giving flight attendant realness like I don't like the headband with the little hair. I don't like it. I don't like, I don't know what is going on exactly. Like the eye makeup, between the eye makeup, the eyebrows, between all this, uh, like it's all bad. It's all bad. It needs to go. It's a chop. I'm sorry. Congratulations to y'all. Very happy for you guys and your family. I hate it so much. <laughs> I need it to stop. We need to find her stylist and figure out why they hate her. Ashley Graham, one of my favorite looks so inspired looks so good like i've seen people calling her ursula like not too much i think she looks so good the hair the flare the hair and the flare the pink the dress she looks so good like she looks otherworldly to me like i'm sorry this was one of my favorites she looks beautiful like oh my gosh oh my gosh the boobs the little swoop like <laughs> the makeup no no, she looks so good. She looks so good. I think this might be my last one. Okay, so Quinta. Okay, so here's the deal. <laughs> I don't think that she wanted to wear this, if I'm being totally honest. Like, I love Quinta, and I feel like she will put her foot down, but I feel like she's very much just like, okay, like, I guess like I don't know like I feel like she was probably like hey I was invited like why not y'all probably know better than I do about what what is supposed to give I don't know like I like the hair but I just didn't it would I don't it didn't feel like her that's maybe I'm crazy but to me this didn't feel like her it didn't seem like she was totally comfortable in it and I just didn't feel like it was something that she picked out it looked like something that maybe they kind of pushed her to wear for some reason but like I don't feel like it was really her and I don't like it I don't like the front of the dress I don't like the long black strings with the little Chanel flower I don't like the train the pink and the black I don't like it I don't like it and maybe and I don't really like the hair with it I like the hair but I don't like the hair with it I just don't I don't like this was not this was on the same level of hatred that I had for Serena's outfit I did not like it Anyways, you guys, my light is about to turn off, so I will see you in the next one.